Hello and welcome to Praise and Worship. We're so glad you joined us today. And we have just a wonderful um, evening planned where we can spend an hour just praising the Lord in song. I'd like to uh, say a special welcome to Adisa Abiosi, who is back with us um, uh, this week. And we're so excited to have him back. Thank you so much, Adisa, for being with You're us. You're very welcome. And very we welcome. have a special treat. My mom is here with us as well. And sitting next to my mom is Adisa's daughter, Naomi. Yes, ma'am. And uh, she is beautiful and <laughs> just as sweet as she is beautiful. And uh, Naomi, thank you so much for joining us today. I can look in the mirror here. There's a mirror in front of me, so I can see behind me. So if you see me stri looking straight ahead, I'm really watching them. So, <laughs> so thank you so much. This is the time for you to be able to type in. Hey, Teddy, can you say hi? That you can type in your prayer request. I'm sorry, your song request. At the end of the program, we will do prayer requests. I'll tell you when that time is. Not now, but I'll tell you. Right now, it's time for your song request. If you have a favorite song you'd like um, um, Adisa to sing and me, for me to play, go ahead and type that in right now. And would you do us a huge favor? Tell us where you're from. We love to hear where you're from, don't we? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and uh, so go ahead and, and type in your song request and where you're from. And we're just going to have a wonderful hour just praising Jesus. Uh, we are going to uh, quit right on time. Sometimes we go a little later. Mm -hmm. I think last week we went a little later <laughs> yeah. uh, because there were so many requests coming in. But at 6.30 tonight, we do have to um, to end on time because I'm speaking this evening uh, in the Philippines. So immediately after um, I leave the live, I'm going to run to my office for a Zoom meeting uh, speaking in the Philippines this evening. So um, we will quit on time today. But maybe next week, um, if you want to run a little longer, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Teddy, it's time to sing now. You want to go sit with with Nana and Naomi? Okay, go go on. There we go. All right. Well, the first one we want okay. to um, to go with last week, there was a song uh, by Pam and David Dahl from Deltona, Florida, and they wanted this song in Christ Alone. And um, I said I would learn it. And so I went on the internet and I found the song. And so we're going to start off with that one for Pam and David Dahl in Florida, uh, in Christ Alone. the first part of it correct, correct. <laughs> I, and, I, I've, I've sung that in a group setting so I, I was trying to toss parts around yeah yeah <laughs> my, right. that's wonderful <laughs> well we have another uh, favorite tonight and that is called a song called as the deer for our mm. good friend Sparrow and uh, mm. she's from Tennessee I believe so uh, Sparrow this is for you as the deer uh, I don't think this it's one's not, in but it. I know this one the deer panteth for the water so my soul longeth after thee you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship thee you alone are my strength my shield alone may my spirit yield you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship thee and oh lisa alexander <laughs> hello my beautiful beautiful friend from maryland i surrender all and i love this song too i surrender all Jesus, I 
I surrender all to him I freely give I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live I surrender all I surrender all all to thee my blessed Savior I surrender all. It's one of my favorite mm-hmm. songs, Adisa, because Amen. it's a it's that everyday surrender to Jesus. I mean, Correct. we have to stay so close to Him and so surrendered. It's so easy to want to do our own thing. Mm-hmm. You know, we as even as people think, well, as Christians, you're following Christ, but as Christians especially, we have this battle where we want to do our thing, Correct. but we need to always be surrendered and uh, make sure that we're doing what God wants us to do and that it's a total surrender. We have um, Carolyn from Wausau, Wisconsin, would like to have God and my faith in us. And Carolyn, I don't know that song, um, but if you would ju- just like to choose another one, Melissa will tell me right away, okay? Um, John from Iowa would be, I'm going to sing. Oh, and this is a good song. And uh, it's, a, it's a happy song. It's one that you used to love to sing. It's one we're going to do um, uh, in rounds. I'm going to sing, sing, sing. Okay? I'm going to sing, sing, sing. I'm going to shout, shout, shout. I'm going to sing, I'm going to shout. Praise the Lord. When the gates are open wide, I'm going to sit at Jesus' side. I'm going to sing. I'm going to shout, praise the Lord. I'm going to sing, sing, sing. I'm going to shout, shout, shout. I'm going to sing, I'm going to shout, praise the Lord. When the gates are open wide, I'm going to sit at Jesus' side. I'm going to sing, I'm going to shout, praise the Lord. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home. Swing low. Chariot coming for to carry me home. This train is bound for glory. This train, this train is bound for glory. This train, this train is bound for glory. Get on board and I tell you the story. This train is bound for glory. This train, the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout. Praise the Lord. Oh, when the gates are open wide, I'm gonna sit at Jesus' side. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout. Praise the Lord. And everybody said, Amen. <laughs> Did you like that song, Naomi? <laughs> that was fun. That was a fun one. That that gets us going tonight. That's for sure. Uh, Let's see, a wonderful way to start the evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chris from Nashville. Hello, Chris. Uh, She would like to have When We All Get to Heaven, and that's another really great song. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. That's when I really want to sing all those verses. <laughs> I'm not ready to stop. You picked a good one, Chris. I love it. Um, let's see. And Chris is actually coming to see me in a few weeks. Yes. And um, we're going to have a singer song around this piano. We're going to sing that one for you. Okay, Chris, you remind me. And we'll do that when you're here. 
Let's see here. Um, we have six-year-old Michaela and seven-year-old Micah from Long Beach, California. Amazing Grace. saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Okay, Carolyn would like to have the song Do Lord. Do you know that one? We sang it last I've got a home. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I've got a home in Glory Land. Mm -hmm. I've got a home in Glory Land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in Glory Land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in Glory Land that outshines the sun. Way beyond the blue. Do Lord, oh, do Lord, oh, do remember me. Lord, oh, do Lord, oh, do remember me. Do Lord, oh, do Lord, oh, do remember me. Way beyond the blue. That got pretty low for it you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about I that. I should have kicked it up. I should have kicked it up. Ah, sorry about that. Um, I've got such a low voice. I mean, my voice is in the basement. You know, I sing a low alto. Uh, so I forget these tenors over here. Um, Jan from Iowa Park, Texas would like to play her mom's favorite song, Under His Wings. That's a really beautiful mm -hmm. song, too. I love that. When you think about when we're under, under God's wings, he will take care of us. And the safety of just being with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Is that too low? How about... Better. Yep. All right, let's do that one. Under his wings, I am safely abiding. Though the night deepens and tempests are wild, still I can trust him. I know he will keep me. He has redeemed me, and I am his child. Under his wings, under his wings, who from his love can sever? Under his wings, my soul shall abide safely abide forever mm -hmm. and there's no safer place to be Amen to that. than uh, under god's wings uh emma from gainesville texas would like to have over yonder uh, i wonder what is there a over yonder i don't mama do you can you What else? <laughs> you say stop singing, I gotta stop playing. Mm -mm. It is. I, I, mm. I don't know that song. You know what? Um, I'll try to learn it for you next next week. If mom can keep singing it for me, I would have played it for you. But uh, choose another one and we'll come back to you, okay? Uh, let's see, uh, she Marie uh, Salen from the Philippines would like to have Be Thou My Vision. Be 
my heart not be all else to me save that thou art thou my best thought by day or by night waking or sleeping thy presence my light so i went and learned that one for him mm. i know he wanted That's that nice last one. week so i went and mm. learned that one i I tell you what, the internet is wonderful because you can go on there and then find out how it sounds and then I can play it. So um, that's a beautiful, beautiful song. We have mm, next, we have Amy from uh, Iowa. He's alive. And I'm not sure of that one either, Amy. But if you would like to choose another one, Melissa will let me know and she'll get you right mm-hmm. in um, a above everybody else. I know but the Gaither Dan, version of He's Alive. Yes. <laughs> I listened to that this afternoon, as a matter of fact. Yes. I, I kind of, I've heard that version, but that's really a big production. Correct. correct. Right. Yeah. So, um, well, but bars. guess what? We have, um, let's see here. She's alive. It went. Okay. Oh, Dan is next. Where's Dan from? Do we know? Uh, Dan it would like to have power in the blood. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. you be free from the burden of sin there's power in the blood power in the blood would you or evil a victory win there's wonderful power in the blood there is power power wonder working power in the blood of the lamb there is power power wonder working power in the precious blood of the lamb wow i wanted to sing the next verse yes. that one <laughs> i could feel that you were ready to go to the next one too it's like we're like, not done <laughs> we are not done with that one that is a beautiful song yes there is power in the blood amen and amen Beth from Macomb, Michigan, would like to have Standing on the Promise. Thank you guys for letting us know where you're from. Standing on the Promises, okay? on the promises of Christ my King. Through eternal ages let his praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God my Savior. Standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. That's a good one, too. <laughs> and Emma would like to have Give Me the Bible. You know this one? <clears throat> Give me the Bible, star of gladness gleaming to Hear the wanderer, lone and tempest-tossed. No storm can hide that peaceful radiance beaming since Jesus came to seek and save the lost. Give me the Bible, holy message shining. Thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise, law and love combining. Till night shall vanish in eternal day. Give me the Bible. Mm. You know, I just wrote a devotion on, um, uh, on the Bible this week. Mm-hmm. I'm working on my new book. And there was a, God just gave me this, um, this devotion this week about the Bible, how precious it is. It actually uh, ha- it, it's, has sold out over, I forget how many, 3.9 billion mm. copies. It's like the most purchase book yeah. in the world and yet 
so many of those Bibles that are purchased, there are so many of them that are purchased, they're sitting on a shelf collecting dust. Mm -hmm. And they are not going to help us um, if we don't read them, if we don't get out. And so God gave me just this uh, devotion Mm -hmm. this week about how important the Bible is. So I love that song, Give Me the Bible. And if we have that Bible, let's read it. Open it up because God has a message for you every day in that word, in his word. Um, I think, uh, let's see here, we have... Oh, I love this song. Mary from Michigan. We got some bunch of people from Michigan watching tonight. I uh, would like to have what a friend we have in Jesus. And then Melissa has somebody that. Yes, Angela from the UK also wanted this one. Angela from the United Kingdom also wanted this one. What a friend we have in Jesus. And this also goes out to my good friends, Gerda and Reed von Mauer. So what a friend we have in Jesus. friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit, oh, what needless pain we bear, all because we do not carry everything to God in What a friend we have in Jesus. And you are not going to have a better friend than Jesus. He is our best friend. Uh, let's see. Dania, is that how you say it? Or Donia or Dania? Dania would like to have For God So Loved the World. What a beautiful chorus that is. I haven't heard that in a while. Do you know that chorus? For God So Loved the World. I'm familiar, but I don't know the words. Amy from Iowa would like to have He Lives. Um, I serve a risen Savior. Thank you. I think He Lives is the title. I serve a risen Savior, he's in the world today. I know that he is living, whatever men may say. I see his hand of mercy, I hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him, he's always near. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. And yes, he does. Mm -hmm. I serve a risen Savior. Okay, we have here, um, oh, this is a good one. Jennifer from Nashville. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, she's like, she's living in uh, Canaan right now, and she would like to have just a little talk with Jesus. Living in Canaan or one or the other. Oh, okay, living in Canaan. Okay, that makes sense. Like, uh, maybe Canaan's a part of, close to Nashville. I wasn't sure. 
<laughs> Thanks for clarifying that, Melissa. I'm going, all right, she lives in Cana now. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> all right, just a little talk with Jesus. We're going to do that one. Do you know this one? I think so. We'll start with the chorus and then go to the verse. Yeah. How that? Have a little talk with Jesus. Tell me about our troubles. Hear our faintest cry. Answer by and by. For the prayer will turn in. The fire is burning. Have a little talk with Jesus. Makes it right. Jesus does make it right, just All the time. right. All Amen. The time. Uh, let's see, we have here. Oh, Sherry Lynn from Buchanan, um, West Virginia would like to have, and it just went out of my, it, like this, these songs are rolling in. Uh, Love Lifted Me. Oh, that's a good one. I, Do you know that? I was sinking deep in sin. Is Love Lifted Me the title? I think it's in the hymnal. It, it is, it is. Am I? Love lifted me, love lifted me When nothing else could help Love lifted me, love lifted me Love lifted me When nothing else could help Love lifted me Do you have the verse yet? I don't have the verse. I... I was, I was sinking deep. down in sin. I was sinking deep in sin. Probably. Yeah. I, I believe I do. Okay, it, let's try it. it. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, seeking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry, and from the water lifted me. Now safe am I. Amen. Love lifted me, love lifted me, when nothing else could help. Love lifted me, love lifted me, love lifted me, when nothing else could help. Love lifted me. And that's I haven't a sang real... that song since camp meeting. Wow. <laughs> that, that, well, that wow. was pretty good to come back with that. <laughs> Um, it, it's actually an appropriate song mm -hmm. for today because tomorrow, um, right now, in uh, if you're down under in the in Australia or New Zealand, uh, or I call it down under, mm -hmm. it's already Valentine's Day there. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow for us in the states, it will be Valentine's Day, which is a day that you know is a day set aside. People want to tell somebody that they love. Mm -hmm. They, to care about it, to really just a, a time to express your love for someone. Of course, we should do that every day. But when you <laughs> think about the greatest love of all, mm -hmm. and, yes. and the best love of all exactly. is the love of Jesus. Correct. Love lifted me. Amen? Absolutely. Amen. And so I think about that. So, okay, we have, um, oh, let's see. Oh, this is a good one. Five-year-old Ashira from Miami would like to have Go Tell It on the Mountain. Pardon me? I missed several. All right, M Melissa's telling me I have to back out. I missed several. Oh, I see. Okay, am, am I back with... Oh, Heavenly Sunshine? Oh, good. My good friend Ray from Walla Walla, Washington. Heavenly Sunshine <coughs> and lift up the trumpet. I guess you know these by now. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so... Okay, so let's do lift up the trumpet first. 213? Uh-huh. Absolutely. And then we'll do Heavenly Sunshine, okay? Right. And uh, for our good friend Ray. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lift up the trumpet and loud let it ring. Jesus is coming again. Cheer up, ye pilgrims, be joyful and sing. Jesus is coming again. Coming again, 
you're coming again Jesus is coming again and his second choice is heavenly sunshine course sunshine heavenly sunshine filling my soul with glory divine heavenly sunshine heavenly sunshine hallelujah Jesus is mine do we have another one Melissa she, she, I, she was she was just flipping her hair back I'm thinking she's trying to get my attention over there <laughs> I really appreciate Melissa Hoffman is our general manager for Kids Club for Jesus, and she's with us every week, and I really do um, appreciate her being. We wouldn't be able to do what we're doing now for sure without her. Um, and then it is well with my soul. Carmen would like to have this song for her and her daughter. And um, Thank you, Carmen. Okay, and let's see, and this is It Is Well With My Soul. Oh, what a beautiful song this is. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well with my soul okay so then we have some golden daybreak melba from walla walla washington and mama i think melba is your cousin want to wave to her say hi to her say hey melba and uh some golden day daybreaks not in the hymnal do you know this song i i know mom um used to sing this song and i'm going to try to go for that for you that okay we'll see how i can do Okay, so which one is this one? Um, we already did When We All Get to Heaven, but that was a song that somebody else requested this. Um, Hilda, do we know where Hilda's from? We don't know. It's 533. But we already sang it, but let's sing the last verse of this. We've been wanting to yeah, sing this, uh, this yeah, again, so since we have another request, 533? let's do that. 533, When We All Get to Heaven. That's not 533. It's not? No, ma'am. Okay, it's written. When We All Get to Heaven? Yeah. When? Do we have it? This is a good one. So I, I don't... Sing the Wondrous. Yeah. My mistake. Is that it? Because sing it... Thank you. Six okay, we do only got one number off. It's okay. <laughs> no worries. All right, go ahead. Uh, we may all get to heaven. We'll do the last verse because we already did the first verse. And uh, when the program's over with, you can go back and watch and you can get the first verse of the song, okay? All right. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Onward to the prize before us, soon his beauty we'll behold. Soon the pearly gates will open, we shall tread the streets of gold. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, We'll sing and shout the victory. Yes, 
we can. Ooh, I'm glad she asked for that song. <laughs> I was wanting to get that last verse in there. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Uh, Five-year-old um, Ashira from Miami would like to have Go Tell It on the Mountain. And um, let's see. Let's see. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching, or silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens, there shone a holy light. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain. Glad Melissa's keeping me straight over there because sometimes when they're flying through, I don't want to miss anybody. <laughs> so uh, she gives them to me in the order that you're requesting them. So I don't want to miss anyone. Um, uh, Leovi or Lovey? I'm not sure. Um, everybody ought to know, and this is for her grandchildren, Abby, Wendell, and Ashton. Everybody ought to know. That's a course I don't... Mm -hmm. Ram also wants to, uh, this one. We don't know where Ram is from. Let us know, Ram, where you're from. But he would also like this one. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Twice. I apologize, Paul. No problem. Okay, that's all right. We get to do it over, so it's okay. Gotcha. Everybody, Everybody ought, ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of Ten thousand. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Mm -hmm. That's that we sang in junior camp. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and my juniors, as a teacher, always loved that song too. Everybody ought to know. Then we have. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, Holton from Huntsville, Alabama. Hi, Holton. Thank you for joining us. He would like to have um, Soon and Very Soon. Not there. Correct. Okay. Gotcha. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. And very soon we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. That's a beautiful that song a beautiful too. And that's got quite a few really nice mm -hmm. verses with it as well. And let's see, we have... Um, in the Garden. Renee from Boring, Oregon would like to have In the Garden. 487. And Josephine. I don't know where Josephine's from. Josephine. Yeah, we don't know where she's from, but Josephine would also like to have this song. So, In the Garden. Mm. 
I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ear the Son of God discloses and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known that's one of my grandmother's favorite songs as well as in the garden oh uh sonia would like to have far beyond the sun hmm. not in there not, i know the tune but i don't know all the words a lot of memories for me, Adisa. Uh, when uh, years ago I went as a missionary to nurse to um, the Dominican Republic and there was a lot of Haitian villages and we uh, had set up medical clinics and we'd move to a different city every day. And the thing that really struck me about this song was that uh, all the workers there, all, all the people that actually lived there at the mission, they didn't have hymnals, but they knew every single word um, to every <laughs> single verse to every song. And this song was one of their favorites. And I can remember being, they, they'd meet early in the morning um, and they'd be start singing you, this song and you would hear them singing it um, oh, in Spanish. Yeah. Um, you would hear this and it, it was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I can remember waking up to the song almost every morning to this song. They would, Ooh. I think when they would go start walking to the showers mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. they would start singing this song. Well, that's a great way to wake up. It's a great that's, way to wake amazing. up. So I just, it has mm -hmm. a very special memory mm -hmm. for me. Um, and um, so I'm getting ready to see. We have, um, we have, I can't even believe it. Adisa says, yeah, we only have 15 oh, minutes no. left of the program, and we have just feels like we just yeah. got started, Mercy. right? Well, I'm going to ask Teddy. you not to sit Come in here, anymore. We're going to keep on. We're going to mm -hmm. keep on um, um, see. playing this, the requests that have come in, but there won't be time for you to bring any new song requests. Right now is the time for prayer requests. So if you would just submit your prayer requests right now, um, no more song requests. We'll just finish the ones we have. And, um, and this is the time to, any, anything you would like um, me to pray about, anything that you, uh, is on your mind, something that's worrying you, maybe it's a, a silent request, a prayer for something you're going through, a friend, a loved one, whatever it is that you would really require and really want special prayer for, submit those requests right now, okay? And uh, Adisa, you and I will continue singing uh, and playing some of these. Um, we have... Uh, oh, there's so many beautiful ones here. And I can tell you right now, we're not going to be able to get through all of them. Catherine, I don't know where she's from, but she would like to have the love of God. Uh, Catherine's from San Jose, California. Thank you. Um, and I used to live in San Jose, and my youngest daughter was born in San Jose. I actually, I'm an emergency room nurse. I'm an RN. And I worked the emergency room at Santa Teresa Kaiser Hospital out there. Loved it out there. Uh, so the love of God.
love the story behind that. If you mm-hmm. don't know the story behind the love of God, yeah. Google it, and you will want. It's so um, heart, really heart touching. I encourage everyone to figure out and to me to go ahead and type in, and uh, research that because it's a good story. Uh, not time to tell you, but it's a good story. <laughs> um, then um, Musu and Teresa from Australia would like to have O Shepherd Divine. They wanted that last week, mm-hmm. and so I went and tried to learn it, but it's still um, not real clear, but we tried you our best for You played it you. well. The 6-4 the so. time signature is what tripped me up. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but, uh, but there's a beautiful, beautiful song. Mm-hmm. Then we have, um, let's see, Cecilia would like to have Marvelous Grace, hymn number 109. Uh, and this is for your nephews. Yes. And you want to tell everybody who your nephews are? My nephews are Asa and Dylan. They live in Laurel, I almost said Michigan, <laughs> Laurel, Maryland. Okay. And so this is mm-hmm. for your nephews, um, Marvelous Grace. Marvelous grace of our loving Lord, grace that exceeds our sin and our guilt. Yonder on Calvary's mount outpoured There where the blood of the Lamb was spilled Grace, grace, God's grace Grace that will pardon and cleanse within Grace, grace, God's grace Grace that is greater than all our sin. Amen. Then we have here, um, there's still quite a few songs. I'm worried that we won't get through of them. For those that maybe joined us late, I do have to quit on time tonight because I'm speaking, right as soon as we're done with the live, I'm speaking in the Philippines um, uh, for this evening, so on a Zoom meeting. And won't it be nice when we're traveling? I was actually supposed mm-hmm. to fly there and be there in person, but we're 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 speaking. Yeah. I'm speaking all over the world, but it's through Zoom. So um, if you have, want me to come and speak at your church, let me know. Uh, Melissa, put my email address in there, and um, we'll we we literally zooming anywhere in the world. <laughs> um, okay, let's see here. We have um, oh, this is uh, oh this is a beautiful song. Um, I'm trying to uh, trying to get through them here. Uh, oh, there's so many. Adisa, I feel so bad we aren't going to get to all these. These are so wonderful. Uh, uh, Lillian um, would like to have Jesus Wants Me for a Sunbeam. And then afterwards, Ruth wants to have my Jesus, I love thee. Do, I don't know where, you know where Ruth is from, but Lillian is from California. Is that it? Um, and we're not sure where Ruth is from. But my Jesus, I love thee. So let's do Jesus Wants Me for a Sunbeam. Do you mm-hmm. know that song? Mm-hmm. And then uh, my Jesus, I love thee. The sun beams I know the chorus. A sun beam, a sun beam. Jesus wants me for a sun beam. A sun beam, a sun beam. I'll be a sun beam for him. Love that song, and then my Jesus, I love thee. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. For thee. 
thee, all the follies of sin, I resign. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior art thou. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. And that's mm. such a beautiful song. We have time for a couple more. Um, let's see. Uh, boy, there's so many in here. Oh, I love, I love all these, but you know what, um, uh, let's see here, Woo. Roy from uh, Kissy, Kenya, I don't know how to, if I said that right, would like to have God be with you till we meet again, and um, let's try that one. again by his counsels guide uphold you with his sheep securely fold you God be with you till we meet again till we meet till we meet till we meet at Jesus Mr. Louis from Maryland would like to have Day is Dying in the rest. West. West. <laughs> Day is dying in the West. Heaven is touching earth with rest. Wait and worship while the night sets her evening lamps alight through all of the from Kenya, Africa, would like to have more about Jesus. died for me more more about Jesus more more about Jesus more of his saving fullness see more of his love who died for me and then our good friend Alex Mazzara from Massachusetts would like to have God will take care of you God will take care of you. Beneath his 
his wings of love abide god will take care of you god will take care of you through every day or all the way he will take care of you god will take care of you well that's all the time we have for songs for tonight and i feel really bad that um uh, we don't have time to play all of them we have a lot of them adisa yeah. but um uh, join us next week and we'll try to make that up to you okay uh, right now um it's time to go before the throne room of god and and um and just pray about each one of these. And I encourage you to go back and, and these programs we leave up. In fact, you can go to um, my YouTube channel, Brenda Walsh Ministries, and all my lives are there. So you can go YouTube, Brenda Walsh Ministries. And when you see those prayer requests at the end, lift them up in prayer too. I think we need to do more praying for each other. I and, um, and I really do because uh, there's power in prayer. It's not something we just say or just sing about. There really is um, a power in prayer. And, there isn't anything too big or too small that we can't pray about. And because God cares about every single thing about us. Amen. And he knows our hearts. He knows what we're thinking. He knows when we're discouraged. He knows when we're happy. And we just want to rejoice with him. Um, our God is an awesome God. Amen. Amen. And uh, we need to spend more time talking with him. So um, let's just bow our heads for prayer right now. Precious Heavenly Father, Lord, I just want to thank you so much for, oh, Lord, for your love, your goodness. You're just such an awesome God, and we just praise you. We come here tonight, Lord, to just um, bring you these prayer requests, Lord, from so many around the world that um, you know the problems, you know the needs, Lord, and, and uh, the burdens are too heavy for us to bear. So, Lord, we want to bring them to you. I'd ask, Lord, that you be with Ray um, and prayer for his heart conditions. Lord, do you know what they are? You know how he's been struggling in, with his health. And be with him in a special way, Lord. I pray for Sparrow, who would like prayer for those who are injured and for the families of those who died in a terrible crash, Lord, in Texas this week, Lord. And be with each one of their family members. I pray, Lord, also for Carolyn's mom and stepdad and also for healing, Lord, for her sinus infection. Lord, I ask for Lester's request for prayer for his nephew, Christopher, who is in the middle of a custody battle. And Lord, this is a really stressful, stressful place to be. And I ask, Lord, that you would um, intervene and that your will be done. I pray for Vicki and Roger, Lord, who would like prayer for Lynn uh, Bag Bagley, Lord, who has throat cancer. Lord, place your healing hand upon her. Lord, you are the greatest physician, the healer, the greatest healer. And Lord, if it be your will, I pray for a miracle for her, Lynn. I also pray for Chris's friend, Candy, Lord, who's struggling with many health issues and whose husband recently passed away. Lord, be extra close to her. Um, it's, it's bad enough to be going through and dealing with health issues, Lord, but the ache in her heart has to be even deeper, Lord, for her husband. And I pray, Lord, that you would just heal her heart. I pray, Lord, for Faith, who would like prayer for her in-laws, that they would become Christians and be kind to her family. You know, the abuse that her entire family has been suffering, Lord, because they're financially having to live in the, under the same roof. And, Lord, it's, um, it's a stressful situation. So, Lord, I pray that you would intervene. I pray that you would get, bring um, peace and healing and that you would come into their hearts, Lord, so that there would be peace in the home. I pray for little baby Emma Jean and, and baby Gaelic Lord and, um, who have brain tumors. And, you know, baby Emma Jean had, as lives in Australia, Lord, and she's had um, some really stressful setbacks this week. And, Lord, she needs you now more than ever. I pray for extra strength for her parents and her sisters. Lord, this is a terrible ordeal to have to see anyone that you love suffer, especially for so long and such a little, little one. And I pray for extra strength, Lord. For, um, for baby Emma Jean's parents. Also, Lord, for baby Gaelic and their parents and family. I also pray for Peggy, who, Lord, would like prayer for her health issues. And uh, you know what they are, Lord. And I pray that you would, uh, would intervene in her life and that you would be her great physician. 
Lord, I pray for Amy, who would like prayer for all the people in Burma um, that, um, that really are suffering right now. I pray also for um, the, the earthquake victims in Japan, Lord, who just last night uh, suffered a terrible earthquake, Lord. And there's so many people that, are, that have died and are injured and um, without power, Lord. I pray that you would be with each one. And Lord, I ask, Lord, that you would um, come into each one of our hearts and lives, Lord, that you, would, that you would be present such as you have never been before, Lord, because we know that your coming is soon. We know, Lord, that we need to be ready when you come. I pray, Lord, for Amy's prayer request for her family, that, um, that they will all be in heaven, Lord. More than anything, she wants her family in heaven. And Celia would like prayer for her papa's feet, that they are both so swollen, that you would, um, that you would put your healing hand upon them, Lord. And also for herself and her two sons who are traveling to Belize tomorrow. Lord, we know that in the middle of a pandemic, Lord, it's traveling can be scary and it can be, um, you know, I pray that you would just give them protection and, and help them to arrive safely. And also, um, sure would like prayer for her family as they buried both her dad, uh, Sukan, and also her cousin Sherwin this week. Lord, what a heartbreaking thing it is to lose a, a loved one. I pray that you would be with them in a special way. And also I pray for Sherry Lynn who would like prayer for her friend Betty who's in the hospital and having trouble breathing, Lord. Oh Lord, please put your hand upon her. Pray for Sandra who would like prayer for her family members traveling back from New York after a funeral for her brother. Oh Lord, how their hearts must be hurting and aching over the loss of their loved ones. Draw extra close to them and their entire family. I pray, Lord, for Connie, who has a praise report that she's feeling better and she can finally walk. And thank you, Jesus, for answering prayers. Pray for Rita, who would like prayer for her health issues and, and upcoming treatments, Lord. And I pray for Cynthia, who would like prayer for her sister-in-law, uh, Jesween, who is in the hospital with COVID. I pray also, Lord, that you would just be extra close to her and help her to feel your presence. Be her great physician. I pray for Maria, who would like prayer for God's leading and guiding presence and direction for caring hearts and Woodside family, dental. Lord, I pray that they are, you would bless their, their, their uh, business there, Lord, and that you know how much they need your in divine intervention. Lord, be with them in a special way. Be with Malin, Lord, who would like prayer for healing for Sylvia, for spiritual growth and for protection for his sister, uh, Badabara, and also for the families of their church, Lord, who church families around the world are struggling right now, Lord. Many can't even gather together anymore. They're, they're just uh, together virtually, and Lord, everyone's getting tired of Zoom. I, Lord, I just ask that you would just intervene. I pray for the protection of your children around the world. Angela would like prayer for herself as she's dealing with some health issues, Lord. You know what they are. Please answer according to your will. And I pray for Pamela, uh, who needs... Um, uh, prayer for her high blood pressure, Lord, that you would heal her in a special way. I pray for Jennifer, who would like prayer for, um, who would like all bear fruits of righteousness in their actions, words, and thoughts for those that put God's, uh, that God puts in our past, Lord. In other words, Lord, give us a thirst for souls such as we never had before. Help us, Lord, to, to want to, um, to witness for you. Lord, I pray for Barbara, who would like prayer for her two friends who have cancer. Lord, you know um, each one and their particular needs. Lord, please answer according to your will. And I pray for Gwen, who would like prayer for her family's salvation, Lord, more than anything. She wants to see her family in heaven. Oh, Lord, please, please uh, draw extra close to this family. I pray for Melba, Lord, and her prayer request of taking care of her brother's widow, that they would continue to take care of her and for God to bless them. And Lord, I pray for Chris's request for uh, her friend Candy, who is struggling with many health issues and whose husband recently passed away, Lord, be with them in a special way. Lord, you are such an awesome God. I pray, Lord, for, for each one of those unspoken requests, those people that are viewing now and that will view in the future, Lord, that are watch this program. I pray, Lord, you know what their needs are. And I ask that you answer each one according to your will. Lord, I pray that you would be with our ministry, Kids Club for Jesus, Studio and Leadership Center. Lord, you know the, the tremendous um, amount of, of, of finances it takes and energy and, and, um, 
and work it does to make this possible, Lord. And I pray that you would impress people's hearts, Lord, to support our ministry. Also, Lord, that you would um, that you would reach every single child that is is watching the programs that we're putting up there. They will be drawn close to you, Lord. So I'm asking for anointing upon this ministry to win hearts for you. And Lord, you know each one there right now that is viewing that is struggling with even believing in you. Lord, draw extra close to them. Help them to know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, you are their Lord, their God, and their Savior. And Lord, I pray you would draw each close to each one of us, each one of us that are watching, that are here right now, that are viewing. Lord, I pray that we will, you will be so close to us, we can feel your presence. Give us even a more burning desire, Lord, to be used by you to help others, Lord, because we're homesick for heaven. We cannot wait for you to come in those clouds of glory. And I just pray that you will be with each one, that we'll have the privilege of really being neighbors in heaven soon. We love you, we thank you, and we praise you. In your precious holy name I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, Teddy knows it's time. <laughs> Look at Teddy. is just anxious to say goodbye, aren't you, Teddy? Well, I want to thank you, Adisa, for You're so much welcome. for being with. Yes, you know, Naomi, thank you so much for coming, honey. You can wave at everybody and <laughs> tell them. And uh, thank you for being here. Um, I want to thank for my mom for being here and each one of you for joining us and all those that are faithful that join us every single week. It's such a privilege to have this special time to just praise and worship our awesome Lord and Savior. I'd like you to visit our, uh, our website, Kids Club for Jesus Studio and Leadership Center. If you just go to kidsclubforjesus.org, Melissa can put it in the notes there, kidsclubforjesus.org. And, uh, and just take a look. We've uploaded now almost a 1,000 Christ-centered wow. programs. We have launched. We are on the way. God is blessing. And uh, I just uh, ask that you would just prayerfully um, pray about what God would have you do to support our ministry. Kids Club for Jesus Studio and Leadership Center. Well, I want to encourage you to each have a wonderful week praising Jesus all week long, okay? And uh, God bless each one of you. Remember, it's your time to share Jesus. Bye-bye, everybody. God bless you. Bye -bye.